So in my last video, I dared myself to do what was long thought impossible for Persona fans. Touch grass. I went into the runs just off memory, having not played the games in a while, as I thought it would make it more fun. Some of my guesses were very off though because of that. And a lot of you guys in the comments were quick to mention certain faster ways the runs could be done. So today, let's fix them. If you haven't watched the original, watch it first so you know what's going on. For Persona 5, I was initially worried the run was going to have to go until we met Kasumi, but I was very wrong. You guys commented that shortly into the game, you'd actually get to go into the grass field between the school buildings as part of the story. And you could actually get to grass quicker by doing On or Ryuji's confidant as well. All great points. Luckily, we found the grass in the palace first, so we didn't even need to worry about that. Unless you don't count the palace grass like some people did. Now, I just said it had to be grass, but Demi, for example, felt it was a bit of a cop-out since it wasn't outside. And when you tell someone to touch grass, you're also kind of meaning for them to just go outside. I can respect that reasoning, but you know what? It doesn't even matter, because a new faster grass was even found, one that none of you mentioned, that was hidden in plain sight. In fact, I even walked right past it in the original run. You see, during the very first night in Persona 5, Joker has a flashback where you get to explore his hometown briefly. It's the only time you get to go there, and it's for a solid 8 seconds. But believe it or not, there's actually grass here. In my original run, I just walked right past it because it's kind of hidden by how dark everything is. But if we take a look around, there's actually a couple grass spots. Right on this corner is a very tiny bit of grass. No, it's not moss. It's 3D and sticks out and everything. Joker can't exactly step on top of it perfectly, since there's an invisible wall. But he definitely touches it briefly if you run into it. Which I say is good enough for the run. If that doesn't count in your book though, there's also another bit of grass on the way towards Shido that you can 100% step on. And if that's not enough, then there's also a whole block of grass right across from him. So yeah. I think this little corner counts, so I started the run all over again. A bit faster this time now that I remembered the controls better. My casino movement was definitely cleaned up a bit, I got stuck on stuff a lot less, and even learned I could rush through the first fight. We also didn't waste time looking for grass in Yogenjaya, which is a huge plus. This time we headed straight into Leblanc, quickly clean the room, head to bed, and the final time comes out to 6 minutes and 35 seconds. You can add a couple seconds if you want to do the other grass patches. This run isn't perfect. A real speedrunner could probably shave off like 20 extra seconds. And also, I do play on the PS5, but I don't have the fancy PS5 version, which I think has even faster loading times, which could probably speed things up even more. Either way though, I'm content with my time. Now, for Persona 4, everything was pretty much fine, but Persona 3 on the other hand... Oh. You see, I made a grave mistake in Persona 3. I messed up the run right at the very end. You see, instead of going to the grass out front and being forced to watch a cutscene beforehand, I could have made a right after these stairs and instead headed to the grass right by the tree on the way to the sports clubs. Skipping those extra loading screens and that cutscene could save us a lot of time. But yeah guys, surely we can just guess a theoretical fastest time, right? Uh, surely you guys aren't going to make me do the entire 30 minute speedrun all over again just to change one thing at the end. Right guys? Guys? Ah shit. Here, Here we, we go, go again. again. Oh boy, I sure do love watching cutscenes skip at an absolute snail's pace. Oh boy, I sure do love getting to pick a random dialogue option every couple minutes. Honestly though, it wasn't that bad. I turned on this skip voice feature and it may have made a difference, I don't know. But yeah, I'll spare you the boring details of doing the whole thing all over again. I just held down triangle the whole time and spam press X while watching a YouTube video. An eternity later, here we are, free roam. And as you may have noticed, my execution seemingly improved somehow. Because we got free roam almost a whole minute and a half earlier than my last run. Now it's time to book it for the tree. Two more loading screens later, and bam. 29.57.03. I guess it really wasn't a 30 minute run like I said earlier. 
an insane improvement of two and a half minutes from the last time. It's a good thing all of you guys mentioned that, because, yeah, I, I genuinely forgot about the tree. So, that's all, right? No. Because my friend told me that the answer is also part of Persona 3, and should be included if I'm doing that. And to that I said fuck off. But, you know what? It would really piss off the Persona 1 and 2 fans in the comments. So hey, why not? The answer. Not gonna lie, never thought I'd be playing this again. After about 13 minutes of cutscenes, I finally got control. I grabbed my teammates and headed in, and pretty much just tried to avoid fights as best I could. I managed to get up a couple floors, but my luck would run out about 22 minutes in. I wanted to avoid this red shadow, so I quickly made a right here, but that was a big mistake. I got stuck in a dead end with another shadow chasing me, with that red shadow now walking up and down to block the exit. Essentially every Persona 3 player's worst nightmare. After running in circles like an idiot for a bit, I naively thought I might be able to get past this guy, but nope. And as you might be able to guess, I quickly died. Ending the run after 23 minutes and 28 seconds. And you know what? That's probably for the best. I don't even think this challenge is possible in the answer. So yeah, Persona 1 and 2 people, I'm sorry. But hey, I never said all Persona games in that video, so you can't be too mad. Plus, I haven't played the games yet, so I couldn't even do them justice either. I feel like a lot of people get mad at me for not including them in this channel, or just get salty in general when people who claim to be fans of Persona don't want to play them, but I feel like that kind of gatekeeping is dumb, especially in this case. Sure, they're called Persona, but they're not very similar to the last three Persona games, which is pretty much what Persona is known for nowadays to a lot of people. I'll get around to them someday, but to be mad at people like me for not wanting to play completely different games just because they share the same title as the three games I actually do like is dumb. <clears throat> Not to mention, even fans of the games will tell you they've aged horribly and play like shit, but oh, the story is so good, you have to play! Well, maybe, but even then, there's tons of games out there I want to play that have good stories while still being fun games, even games from around the same time as the old Persona games. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I had a really weird cough there. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go take a cough drop. Adios.